Paradise and today's video is going to be a Christmas haul. So before I get started, a lot of these things are mainly for Plum's Christmas Cage Tour because I am doing a Christmas theme, I'm so excited to set everything up. So I have actually got a couple of things that aren't Christmas related but they haven't arrived yet so yeah I kind of have to wait for them to come. I'm not sure if we'll do a haul on those or not just because it's just a few more things. Anyway, let's get onto the haul because I rambled on plenty. Okay, so the first thing I got is these two loofah shoes, little Santa and the little Christmas pudding, and I think they're really adorable. They are quite adorable, and they're gonna look great in her Christmas cage. Next thing I got are these two tunnels, and I really like the design of this. I like the fact it's red and white. It's almost like a candy stick, and it's also two of them, so if I want, I could give one of the red ones to the mice and this, this big one to Plum. I think that'd be really good for her. So yeah, that's the second thing I got. The third thing I got is this hamster train. And isn't this really adorable? Now, you'd think a Syrian wouldn't be able to fit through this because I mean, it is, you know, the holes are quite small, but Plum's actually quite a small Syrian. So I think she'll be able to fit through this no problem, especially the back one is because these holes are a little bit bigger than these ones down here. The fourth thing I got Plum is this little present box. It's really cute. It's, you know, it's in the shape of a present. It's got a little ribbon around it with a little bow. And it's quite pretty. And it also has two holes. So she actually, I can actually imagine her sleeping in this. So I think this would be really, really lovely for her. And it's got bits of shredded paper in there, red and white. The fifth thing I got are these baked treats with banana and pecan and they just look like that so yep I think I think both pets are gonna like this so these are for both plum and mice they can both have these and I've never really got these before I've had some similar to this pecan and banana cookies no it was pecan and maple cookies I've had them for ages actually but these are with banana so That'd be interesting to try out, and that's those. So another thing I got are these Christmas shoes, and the reason why I'm holding them like this is because they actually fell straight out of the packaging as soon as I got it out of the box, actually. Um, the whole thing just came off, so yeah. But as you can see, I've got a little Santa shoe, a Christmas tree, and a little reindeer, so I think this is really adorable, and hopefully Plum will like them but they are very, very cute and very festive. So then I got this tube and it's a lovely Christmassy tube with lots of Christmas trees on it. And basically what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna cut out the end and make that a nice big hole. And then I'm going to obviously take off the lid, take off the string, so it'll be one big tube. And that'll be great for Plum. I'm just gonna like to go through that. It's very roomy and spacious as well. Even though she's a small hamster, um, is going to be really lovely for her to go through. She's having no problem whatsoever getting through this. The eighth thing I got are these little Christmas little dishes and they're kind of combined as one and I think this is really cute because obviously it's very Christmassy. I'm thinking about putting treats on one side and then her normal food on this side. This will be really really lovely. So then I got this polka dot jug and I really like the colour of this and also the little polka dots because it's kind of like snow isn't it really? and I think it's just really cute. It's also really spacious inside there and she could just, you know, as a little hideaway, she can go in there and if she wants to cool down or something, then she can. So um, I think that'd be really lovely. She might, I could even imagine her climbing on this too fair and um, perhaps even climbing on the handle because she does like to climb. So that's that. I then got this little gingerbread cardboard box kind of thing. You basically just, set it up like that, you just put it together like that, it's very simple. Um, what I plan to do with this is I plan to cut a little entrance either on this side or this side or maybe even at the front, I'm not sure, but it will be a nice little cute box, she'll be able to fit into that and of course it's a little gingerbread house so it's gonna look adorable. Then I got some gel clings for outside of the cage, so these are really adorable as well, I mean look at these cute little penguins, they are so cute. We have a little Santa and we have some presents and some other little things as well. Which are all full of festiveness and is going to look super festive outside her cage. 
Something else I got is this large tin. It's very, very Christmassy, as you can see. It does say on the front there. Merry Christmas. And I really love the colours on the outside. I plan to fill this with lots of bathing sand and literally just have one big sand bath. And that's the main reason why I got it for her, so she can have a really large sand bath in her cage because she loved that sandbox that I got her that one time. And she can definitely have a lovely big dig in this. And it's also very Christmassy, so um, as a bonus. And something non-Christmassy related, I got her this little Antos crocodile chew and she absolutely loves these. I think every hamster seems to love these, well almost every hamster, mine have loved them. And these make great chews for hamsters, they really wear their teeth down. They are dog chews but they're perfectly safe, all vegetable based ingredients and she's going to love this so I'm not sure if I have this in the Christmas cage or not but it's definitely something just to give her anyway and the next few things I have for the mice now do keep in mind I have ordered some other things online so they've not arrived yet so this is just what I've got for now so the first thing I got for the mice is this little friend's fleecy tunnel and it actually hangs so it's going to go across the roof of their cage well most of the roof of their cage and it's so snuggly and soft and I thought seeing as they love the little cube hanging toy I thought I'd get them something similar even though it's a little bit more softer and longer even better for them I think they're really going to like to spend their time snuggling in this so I think they're going to like that and the second thing so far that I've got for the mice is this rope toy and it's basically a twisty rope toy that hangs from the bars very similar to the one I had for the rats a while ago but yeah I really like the colours of this you just kind of see it looks like that and I think they're really going to love to climb up this I can imagine having a great time climbing this so that's the second thing I've got for them so far so that is everything I've got for the pets so far obviously I've ordered some more things online I'm not sure if I'll do a haul on those things yet or not but for now that is what I've got Christmassy related more or less and obviously a couple of other things that aren't Christmas related So that's the video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I've got the pets so far So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and any comments or questions leave them down below If you like our videos and want to see any more then go subscribe and if you enjoyed this video Then don't forget to hit that like button and we'll see you next time. Bye. That's what it looks like and This is gonna look great in her cage I don't know why I sound really sarcastic in this haul for some reason. I'm not trying to be sarcastic. And a little reindeer, which is really adorable. Santa fell. And um, yeah, that's it. And that's the main reason why I got it for her. Ooh. So then I got this little polka dot jug. Oh my god, hi. <laughs> As well, it's like a microphone. Hello. It's Peachy here. And uh... I have no idea if you heard that or not. That was my mum. <laughs>